Hi, I'm Anne and I'm 23 years old. I am an aeronautical engineering student at Imperial College London and a student glider pilot at Lasham Gliding Society. I think the best thing about STEM is that it equips you with the knowledge and problem solving skills you need to create innovations that might change the people's lives around you. It also opens up many exciting career opportunities. And STEM equips you with friends for life because solving challenging problems is best done in teams. The best thing about gliding is that the fun never stops. It only gets better and better the better you get at it. Once airborne, we can fly for hundreds of kilometres at speeds over 100 kilometres an hour, just on the sun's energy, no emissions. But we need a hand getting there, and that's what we're going to look at today. One of the quickest and easiest ways to get uh, into the air in a glider is with a winch launch. And this glider's about to winch launch now, they're just getting themselves ready. Here are winch cables that have been pulled up from the opposite end of the airfield where the winch is. There's the launch point end. They're levelling the wings so that the glider's ready to go. And here's somebody at the launch point signalling, take up slack. So there's slack in the cable uh, more than we need. And we need to take that out before we start launching. And you can see signalling with lights down to the winch. There's the winch at the other end of the airfield. And so he's been told to take up the slack. And so he's just going to very slowly wind the cable in until all the slack is out. And that parachute there is just so that when the glider releases, you'll see in a minute, uh, it dis the cable descends slowly. So all the slack's out, speeding up on the winch, and you'll see the glider start to move forwards. There it goes. And as soon as it's got more speed than it needs to fly horizontally, it can start to climb. And the whole time they're winch winching the cable in towards the winch, but the glider is pulling itself up with the excess speed and there it is released at the top and the cable falling away. If you want to tow to a particular height or a particular place, like you might in a competition where you want to launch everybody together, uh, and here's a competition queue ready to launch, you use an aerotow. You'll see here as the glider is ready, you can see the tug, the tow plane, taxiing in the background, and you can see somebody hooking the rope onto the nose of the glider there. The glider's ready to go. So the tug will uh, taxi and take up all the slack in the cable. And you can see the tug there just checking all his controls, moving the elevator and the ailerons as they're getting ready to go. And now everybody's ready. And so the tug speeds up. Off he goes. The glide is quite difficult to control at very low speeds. Uh, but as you speed up, you get uh, nice control of the glider. And... Uh, here we are, running along the ground, the glider's in the air. The glider flies a bit slower than the tug, so it comes off the ground first. Oh, there's the tug taking off. And here we are, going out on the launch. And you can tow to a particular height or for a competition into a particular place so that everybody launches together. And here we are at the top of the tow. Aerotows behind a tow plane. The plane's normally burning petrol, so it's not ideal from an emissions perspective. Winches uh, have often been converted to LPG, and there are some electric winches out there. But if you really want zero emissions, and you happen to find yourself on top of a hill, you can take a bungee launch. So here we are in a glider, ready to take a bungee launch. And uh, we're being towed out to the launch point here, and that's the bungee rope, big rubber band just on the left there which they'll attach to the glider. So because you can only do this when it's quite windy, uh, so everybody's in the glider, strapped in already, ready to go. And uh, we're hooking the glider onto the rope. There we go. And the bungee is stretched out in a big V shape. Um, and you can see four people on this side and four people in the background stretching that bungee out now that they're ready to go. And once the bungee's fully stretched, we'll put the air brakes away, release the wheel brake and ping the glider into the air. There it goes. So here we are in the glider with the bungee stretched out in front of us. Put the air brake away, takes the wheel brake off, moves us along and pings us up into the air. There we are. We can now lower the nose of the glider, gain flying speed and turn 
and into the rising air along the ridge and go soaring. Now it's your turn to build a zero emissions launch machine. Everything you need to know is in your student notes, so off you go and good luck! Hi, we hope you enjoyed the challenge and found it fun and interesting. We're from Junior Gliding. I'm Lucy and I'm 17 and I've been gliding for three years. And I'm Em, I'm 16 and I've been gliding for two. Did you know that you can fly on your own in a glider before you can drive a car? If you want to find out more about gliding, go to the British Gliding Association website www.gliding.co.uk. There are around 80 gliding clubs across the UK. We hope to see you in the skies soon.